people used to live at one time before they uh, moved into Williams Harbor. They fished Williams Harbor in the summertime and lived in Rickson's Cove in the wintertime and then uh, eventually they went, they, they started to overwinter in Williams Harbor and stayed there, you know, and uh, but anyway, to get into Williams Harbor, this is your highway and uh, those treetops, that's your markers, you know, and uh, it starts to drift in that, so, so anyway, uh, me and the little fella are on the way to Port Oak there now, so uh, I'll give you a few updates as we go along, she give you some great views. Of, uh, I gotta clean your nose? Okay. <laughs> Well guys, here's a closer look at Rickson's Cove, all those houses is gone, and now a lot of them uh, burned, there was a fire there, but uh, I just wanted to show you this sticking at the snow, it was one of the first snowmobiles that was ever around here, and uh, my Uncle Sarah owned that one, and the motor was actually back in the, in the back part of her there. Uh, I actually got some video somewhere uh, when I was up here at, in the summertime, uh, I'll try to find that and just add that in the clip as well, so uh, keep going, oh he's falling off, <laughs> anyway, uh, just see the Randry Point here now, this is a, a groom trail from the rest of the ways to Port Old Pair. So, uh, so anyway, we'll just keep moving on. Oh well, guys, uh, Rexon's Cove is on out there and we just come around to uh, edge of the ponds and stuff and over the hills there a little bit. And we never ever traveled, you know, uh, never had this trail growing up. We always just traveled up through the ponds and come on down through our iron pet there and that. And, uh, and plays over on River Route and all these places is, uh, is good places around here, you know, for uh, goose hunting in the spring of the year and that. But, uh, but anyway, uh, Nice and comfortable ride on the trail, especially when I got the little fella with me. Uh, we go another way, we call it straight up the bay, uh, but uh, that's a different story. <laughs> the guys here on the trail system, you know, in certain places they have cabins, and uh, you can stop, you know, go and load a fire, get a warm one, or if you break down or run into trouble, you know, you could uh, find your way to the cabin, and uh, at least you'll be safe there, right? And uh, looks like a black bear uh, hauled off some of the siding there, but. Uh, Anyway, we're just gonna keep moving on here. Now we got a long ways to travel yet, so. The, the trail between uh, Williams Harbor and Port Hope now was not very wide, so uh, you don't want to be driving too fast in it. And if you do stop, make sure you stop in the area that if there's a screws coming either way, you got plenty of time to haul clear of you, you know. And uh, also, I was going to mention uh, I got my rifle on my back because uh, there's only me and the young fella here. I'm having to break down, got to walk. There's wolves and polar bears around this time of year, you know, and uh, so uh, you got to have a little bit of protection. And uh, so anyway, we're just going to keep moving on, I guess. All right, guys, so uh, we just crossed the road there, and uh, we just got across the lake and we're over to Port Oak right now, so I'm going to put my uh, rifle away now, so instead of going into town down on my back. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I guess that's about it for this one. So like always, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time. Say hi. We're in Rickson's Cove here now, just on the shore, having a look around. And I'm going to show you this little uh, machine here. This was one of the first ones that was in this area, Mom, this one, and I believe the motor used to be back on the car street there. Not really sure what it's called or anything. And there's an old beaver house in there, though. Great place for picking raspberries in the fall of the year. And the rest of the crew was coming there.